Hello everyone, I'm Zane from UC Davis, and I'm here to tell you about Boxer, a system we built to prevent credit card fraud. With Boxer, you can scan a credit card with an app on your phone to prove that the card is genuine. But before we talk about credit card fraud, I wanna tell you the story of how this research began. When I first started my PhD a couple of years ago, unlike any good PhD student who would comb through past Usenix and Oakland papers for inspiration, I chose to comb through my Netflix suggestions. And I found this old movie from the 90s called Donnie Brasco. Let me show you a little clip here, which serves as a good inspiration for this work. To set the scene, we have Don the jeweler on the left. His job is to middle diamonds. And Lefty, a local thug, comes by and asks Don to middle a diamond for him. As soon as I saw this clip, I was sold. I wanted to be Don the jeweler, the slick back hair, sideburns, Brooklyn accent, the entire ensemble, except the mustache, of course because you can see how quickly he was able to make the decision. As soon as he looked at the diamond, he knew immediately it was fake. I figured I could set up a shop in Davis, all the local thugs can come to me and I'll middle diamonds for them, tell them which ones are fake, which ones are real, everything is said. The problem is, I don't know anything about gems. Well, that's okay, PhD is all about learning. Maybe I could enroll in this graduate gemology program. Well, not only is this looking hard, it's not offered in Davis, and I like living in the bustling metropolis that is Davis. So maybe I don't look at gems. Maybe I look at something that I know more of. Maybe I look at credit cards instead. Now, before we get into the presentation, I wanna play Don the Jeweler with you guys. So I have four credit cards here, and one of these is real. The other three are fakes or fugazis. You're Don the Jeweler, and your job is to pick the real credit card. I'll give you 10 seconds, look carefully, and pick the real card. If you like, you can comment on the Slack thread of this paper, if there exists one, with your choice. And if you're right, I'll send you a fugazi. All right, your 10 seconds start now. All right, time's up. The one on the bottom right is the real card and everything else is Fugazi. So what we did here is we got a lot of credit card numbers and we designed a machine learning system that can take these numbers and put it in a realistic image. Now, remember the goal of what we're trying to do is to detect fake credit cards. And I just showed you a very, very, very realistic system for how to create fake credit cards. So then the question is, given that we know that this system exists, how can we detect really high quality fakes? To know more on this, I encourage you to read our paper. But I never really mentioned why we care. Well, card card present fraud happens when fraudsters steal credit card credentials of other people and then use these credentials to make purchases online or via an app without the physical card. Now remember, card present transactions when you go to your local grocery store and make a transaction with your physical card using a payment terminal while card not present transactions when you make a purchase via an app by keying in the credentials without using a physical card. Here are some alarming numbers. The x-axis represents the year and the y-axis represents the losses in millions of dollars. On the left, we have card present fraud and on the right, we have card not present fraud. You can see while the card present fraud is decreasing in recent years, card not present fraud is increasing. In fact, researchers estimate that retail retailers will lose $130 billion to card not present fraud in the next few years. And to prevent this, we present Boxer. So Boxer is a client-side SDK and a server to deter card not present fraud. So how does it work? Well, here is how a food delivery app can use Boxer to verify a credit card for a suspicious transaction. First, the food delivery app detects a suspicious transaction and rather than blocking it, they forward the user to Boxer's card scanner. Boxer's card scanner scans the user's card, performs OCR, analyzes video frames to detect telltale signs of attacks and collects signals from the device before sending this data to the Boxer server. Boxer's server decides if the card is genuine and if it is, instructs the app to allow the transaction to proceed. Boxer combines image analysis, device signals, and rule aggregation server to provide a holistic solution to fraud. 
In the remainder of the presentation, I'll first talk about Boxer's image analysis and how Boxer collects device signals. This will be followed by the guiding design principles, evaluation and real world impact. And afterwards, I will conclude. The first model in Boxer's image analysis pipeline is OCR. OCR is how we extract a card number out of a video stream when a user scans their card. In Boxer, OCR serves as the baseline of our defense where we use the scanned card number to match against the card number that the app has on record. While easily available, OCR acts as a first line of defense, extracting useful information for our more advanced models. OCR is followed by BIN check. The BIN is the first six digits of the card number and identifies the issuing bank, say Bank of America. BIN check, our second line of defense, uses the BIN and the visual design elements of the card to check if they match. For instance, the image on the slide has a green dot bin, but it has no design elements like payment network or bank name, etc. Hence, insufficient visual information. Similarly the, similarly, the image at the bottom has a green dot bin, but a Chase logo. Hence, inconsistent visual information. Boxer's bin check is designed to catch both insufficient and inconsistent scan of credit cards. Boxer also has a screen detection module to detect cards scanned from computer, phone, or tablet screens. With this check, an attacker would have to physically print credit card information before scanning. Screen detection uh, detects screen edges or reflections as artifacts of cards scanned off screens. It also detects more intrinsic signs like Mori patterns, which are an aliasing effect arising from an overlay of two different patterns on top of each other. The general purpose of screen detection is to detect any false medium rendering an image. To collect device signals, Boxer forces the attacker to use genuine hardware and the real app with device check. Internally, device check uses hardware back tokens stored on the device by the manufacturer to verify that it is genuine. Boxer also consists of a secure counter to prevent hardware based attacks at scale. Given that Boxer forces attackers uh, into using legitimate hardware devices, attackers will try to repeat the same attacks with the same physical hardware. For instance, attackers may try to use many stolen credit cards with the same physical device, since procuring fresh devices is, is expensive. Boxer can securely count the number of cards added per device and thus rate limit an attacker to prevent large scale hardware based attacks. Boxer Secure Counter is a general purpose counter, which can be used to count other events as well, like number of accounts registered using the same device. Additionally, Boxer Secure Counter is privacy preserving since it only identifies classes of devices and not each individual device. From a higher level, with Boxer, we break down the fraud detection into multiple stages guided by our design principles. These principles can be grouped into two high level categories. The first three principles inform our image analysis design, while the last two guide our device signals design. Concretely, with OCR, we, we scan the card to extract relevant, de relevant details and check what's on record. With bin check, we inspect the uh, card image for telltale signs of tampering. With screen detection, we detect ways of rendering fake card images. With device check, we force the attacker to use genuine hardware. And finally, with secure counter, we associate attacker activities with things that are expensive for rate limiting. To evaluate Boxer's net impact end-to-end -end in a production app, we report the results from an app that allowed users flagged by their system to verify themselves with Boxer. For two weeks in Feb 2020, 45 users were sent to Boxer for verification. 35 of these users uh, failed Boxer's OCR and were blocked by Boxer. A manual review by the app later confirmed all 35 users were in fact fraudsters. Of the remaining users, eight passed Boxer's challenges and, and were allowed to transact. A manual review by the app later confirmed Boxer's decisions to be accurate. Of the remaining two users, one was caught by Boxer's secure counter and the other was flagged by, uh, flagged by uh, Boxer's screen detection. The user caught by secure counter was a fraudster while the user flagged by screen detection was a false positive. To summarize, Boxer recovered 89% of the app's legitimate users without incurring any additional fraud. Boxer is currently actively stopping fraud in production. So far, 323 apps have integrated Boxer and many of them have deployed Boxer in production, resulting in Boxer scanning over 10 million cars already. To conclude, we first introduced Boxer, a client-side SDK in a server for preventing card not present fraud. 
Boxer combines multiple image analysis techniques with a novel secure counting abstraction to provide a holistic solution to Gartner present at uh, fraud attacks. And Boxer has been integrated into 323 apps. It has scanned over 10 million cards already and is currently actively stopping fraud. That is it from us. If you have any questions, you can email your questions to the email addresses mentioned in the slide. Thank you for your attention.